हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द परमानेंट मैग्नेट डीसी मोटर परमानेंट मैग्नेट डीसी मोटर इज अ डीसी मोटर हुज पोल आर मेड ऑफ परमानेंट मैग्नेट द परमानेंट मैग्नेट्स ऑफ पी एम डी सी आर रेडियली मैग्नेटाइज एंड माउंटेड ऑन द इनर फेरीफेरी ऑफ द सिलेंड्रिकल स्टील स्टेटर नाउ वील मेक अ कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ परमानेंट मैग्नेट डीसी मोटर दिस इज द स्टेटर ऑफ द मोटर so this is the stator of the motor so we can say here that it is called as a outer shell and this is the rotor and this is the rotor conductor three phase and this is the shaft and this is called as a commutators this point, this ring is called as a commutators so when when supply is given to the dc motor so what happened the radially magnetized flux in the permanent magnet machine is interact with the armature conductor so that torque is produced and that torque is called as a induced torque of the pmdc motor normally this type of motor are useful for 6 volt 12 volt and 24 volt battery systems torque is produced due to magnetic flux and axial current carrying conductors of the rotor there is no field winding so can we can make a equivalent diagram of the permanent magnet dc motor where only having armature resistance and the armature voltage that is back emf voltage the supply voltage is dc so from here we can understand that the e is proportional to phi n in conventional dc motor but flux is constant so we can say e is proportional to n similarly torque is proportional to phi i a in conventional motor but permanent magnet dc machine or permanent magnet dc motor torque is proportional to i a so we know that v is equal to e plus i a r a and here e is proportional to n so we can write here e is equal to k n or we can say e is equal to k n where k is a constant so we can replace here e by k n so that will be equal to k n plus i a r a or we can find out the speed relation is n is equal to v minus i a r a divided by k so here field is constant so the main feature of permanent dc motor is that the field is constant so speed can be controlled by using only armature voltage control and armature resistance control because the field is constant so we cannot use the 
flux control in this permanent magnet DC motor speed control techniques. The advantage of PMDC is that you can see advantage. Advantage is that number one is that there is no field is present in D permanent magnet DC motors. So field copper loss is less. So we can say efficiency is increases because power loss is less. The second advantage is that because of absence of field winding, the size of permanent magnet DC motor is less. So we can say small size. I will see the disadvantages. The main disadvantage of this permanent magnet DC motor is that the low torque is induced because field is constant field is not there is no more flux density in the machine so low torque is induced and second is the problem of the demagnetizing effects effect and because of demagnetizing effects, the high current carrying conductors will reduce the magnetizing ability of flux generation in the permanent magnet DC machine. And third, because of the magnetic field is always magnetized, so we require a uh, more protection of the motor, this type of motor. So normally we require the enclosed type of motors to avoid any foreign particles to the magnetic field. So we required a much take care for, for protection to avoid any loss. So this all are about the PMDC motor and the material used for making permanent magnet material that is used as a alnico and ferrite material. So this is all about the PMDC motor. Thank you.